Welcome to beautiful Bainbridge Island. Just a short ferry ride from Seattle and you find yourself on a lush island of tall conifers and scenic coastline. These features are what attracted Captain George Vancouver's surveying crew to Bainbridge in 1792. They anchored off the island to replace broken spars on their ship's foremast, using timber from towering trees along the shore. It is Bainbridge Island's physical assets that have contributed to its colorful history and present-day pride among residents. Those first drawn to the island were Suquamish Native Americans. They had an established village at its south end, and over twenty seasonal camps for gathering shellfish, plants, berries, and other harvest to last them through the winter. In 1841, the U.S. Naval Expedition, led by Lieutenant Charles Wilkes, arrived at Bainbridge. It was his party that was responsible for mapping out much of the Pacific Northwest, and in doing so were first to discover that Bainbridge was actually an island. Wilkes named it after his mentor, Commodore William Bainbridge, who commanded the USS Constitution in the War of 1812. The island that nobody had really heard of in the mid-1800s was transformed into one of the biggest economic hubs in Washington Territory by an entrepreneur named George Miggs. Miggs started a lumber mill at Port Madison on the island's north end. By 1860, Bainbridge's first community had sprung up around it. Port Madison eventually served as the county seat with a courthouse and jail. Port Blakely, south of Eagle Harbor, where you arrived on the ferry, was another site of a bustling community. A busy boardwalk traced the northern perimeter of the crowded harbor. It was once home to the world's largest lumber mill. Completed in 1864, the mill burned to the ground in 1888. Five months later, it was completely rebuilt and could output 500,000 board feet per day. The mill machinery would throb loudly day and night, filling the harbor with steam. Only one cement building, pilings, and soft ground remain of the lumber mill. Both Port Blakely and Eagle Harbor were a maze of tall ships at different periods due to the presence of the Hall Brothers shipyard. Eagle Harbor was also home to the Pacific Creosoting Company, one of the world's largest suppliers of treated wood in the early 1900s. During World War II, minesweepers were built in the harbor with hundreds of people commuting against today's flow to come to Bainbridge from Seattle to work in the shipyard. The World War II era was a particularly significant chapter in island history. It was Bainbridge Island residents of Japanese ancestry that were the first sent to internment camps after the attack on Pearl Harbor. In the early morning of March 29, 1942, Army trucks were dispersed on Bainbridge to collect residents who had been given little time to pack what belongings they could before being evacuated to camps in Minidoka, Idaho and the Dust Bowl of Manzanar, California. Bainbridge Island's internment story was popularized by Islander David Gooderson's novel and subsequent film, Snow Falling on Cedars. The novel centered on the Bainbridge Island Review's newspaper editor, Walt Woodward, and his efforts to defend the Japanese-American Islanders and keep them in the minds of their neighbors. The National Park Service has plans to open an internment memorial and interpretive center at the site where residents left the island. Today, Bainbridge Island residents enjoy all the advantages that a small community has to offer, along with an enjoyable work commute to Seattle. Over the last few decades, Bainbridge has become a place where the arts and humanities flourish, and opportunities for youth and adult education are abundant. Please visit the Bainbridge Island Historical Museum in Winslow to learn more about its rich lumber, maritime, and agricultural history, and to gain an understanding of its diverse ethnic communities. And while you're enjoying picturesque Mount Rainier, Seattle, and the Cascade Mountains on your ferry ride back, take with you fond thoughts of the vibrant and unique communities of the Kitsap Peninsula you visited today.